I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Oh, no particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. The answer is no. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big witch tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. another time. Are we going to be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm going to go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Okay. Got to find Gordy Kramer. <laughs> Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. Hey, <laughs> good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party, then? 
Why don't you go ask him? Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm going to have to go about it some other way. Maybe bust a few heads? Yeah, attempt it. But not such a good idea. Too many goon-shaped reinforcements around here. Whoa! You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What'd he say? The bastard! Ah, oh, sort him out! You motherfucker! Talking about my brother, you great monkey in a cheap suit. You think, oh, you think you're a big man? I'm a bigger man than ah, you just know. Hey, 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 hey. Woo, monkey. I'm talking to you, you, you big ape. What are you saying about my monkey? You nah, you get wild with me, my little friend. And you, you know who I am? This is the best part. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown!
Kramer. 